come benefits, and lastly, I'll cover consequences that do come along with playing sports in college. Now then, when discussing grades in school, distractions can be detrimental. Here is a graph. It just talks about how people like that were not enrolled. It talks about people still enrolled. It basically just talks about participation in school. According to the Daily Beast's article, um, How Alcohol Consumption Predicts GPA, written by Kristen Dell, dated in 2011, it says a study presented this week found that next to time spent studying outside the classroom, um, time spent drinking is the leading predictor towards GPAs falling. According to the website College Atlas, dated in 2017, 30% of college freshmen drop out after their first year. There are ways to prevent terrible grades and dropping out. Student athletes um, have many factors that keep them on track with grades. From personal experience, many te my, te my own coaches have made me give them report cards at the end of the week, signed by all my professors, and make sure I basically have a passing grade. And if I didn't, they would make us run fitness. And if my GPA just drops in general, I'd have to either redshirt or I wouldn't be eligible to play. Um, we have less time to go out and get ourselves into trouble, because we basically have no time due to how time consuming that sports can be. Um, our, a lot of coaches give students study hours, and they have to make a minimum amount of study hours in a library they can clock in and clock out. That basically helps them, basically forces them to study necessarily, but it's like forced time to at least work on something. According to Stephen Dent's YouTube video, Day in the Life of a UCLA Student Athlete, dated in 2015, he talks about how he spends all his time in class, and then like when he goes from class, he goes straight to practice. And then after practice in his free time, which is very little, he either spends <coughs> eating, sleeping, and doing homework. And then we all know the workload in college is a lot and very stressful. So he doesn't have a lot of time, like a lot of college athletes, to go out and just get themselves into a lot of trouble. Unless, okay. um, because of all the factors keeping students' grades in line, it can make their lives better. Because of how stressful, because of how successful athletes are required to be in college, um, there have been lifelong benefits. Capture the Flag's YouTube video dated in 2013 talked about, Les it's called Leslie Kerner on lifelong benefits of being a student athlete. She talks about how she was able to make connections and achieve a job right after college through connections she's made playing sports. And um, from personal experience, I feel like playing sports and being a student athlete has taught me many things, such as balancing, making time management, and all those other characteristics that can help when it comes to balancing and time management when it comes to your job. NCAA's website, which is currently updated, said um, most recent graduation success rate is 82% of D1 student scholarship um, student athletes in 2004 graduated with a degree. NCAA also states that in Division II, 73% of freshman student athletes graduated in 2004. Although the student athletic life may seem time consuming, it really pays off academically. Playing a sport in college can be distracting as well. The main reason for that is because of how time consuming it is. From personal experience, you sometimes have to miss class for games, which can set you back, especially with a block schedule, because if we miss three classes, we fail. And um, unless your teachers are lenient with makeup policies, but Attendance is attendance, and whether you miss class or not, it's going to put you behind, and it's really stressful to make up because you're not you're not only making up that, but you probably have other assignments that you have to have to make. Um, another reason that it can be really distracting and hard grades is because of the amount of time you do not have, especially in season. In season, you have practice for like at least two hours, and in class for sometimes six hours if you take two a day. That's at least. And then you are left being so exhausted, and you're not necessarily as focused as you could be on your grades. Los Angeles Times article dated in 1988 called Athletes Get Lower Grades says athletes spend more time in season 
focusing on their sport than they do um, regular students, which can lower their grades. College can be very stressful and complicated, as all of us know. I'm sure you've all had that moment where we're up at 2 a.m. just about to like rethink everything, we're just stressed out. Um, for many people, good grades can be really hard to achieve, but being a student athlete, at least, has specific motivators that can help you move along with that. And you have your coaches there constantly to motivate you, and the NCAA's eligibility rule is always there too. You don't want your scholarship stripped. And um, you just have less time to get yourself into trouble, especially during the season. On the weekends, you're like the same game. A lot of teams have 48 hour rules, so that drink you can't even think, you can't do anything at all. Be detrimental to your playing time or anything. Um, being a student athlete increases the chance of having better grades in college. Although going out every night, you see people all the time, like regular people or just people out of season or something, going out and partying all the time, like the stereotypic old college party you see from like D1 schools like Clemson or something. But being a student athlete aside sets you up for better academic success and sets you up for a better future overall. Thank you so much.